Hey guys, Jordan here from That Car Life, and today we're at the My GT Garage event at London Raceway, and we have this beautiful wide body S2000 here, and this is owned by Max. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to see you, mate. This S2000 is a definitely one of a kind. Tell us about it. The first time when I bought my car was back in 2010, I think. We kept this car nearly 14 years. When I bought it, it was pretty much a stock. Nothing's have been modified it, and then over the last 14 years, slowly, slowly modified it. That is so cool. The fact that you've had it for such a long time as well. What front bar is this? This whole car designed and manufactured by GT Machino. Okay. They call that this model body kit called the C65. Except two doors, the left and right. Yep. The whole car is a, a whole custom carbon fiber. So obviously you can't actually see it because it's I paint over. Well. So even the boot at the back, except the bonnet obviously, but they're pretty much a bumper, fender, rear fender, yeah. rear bumper, they're all carbon, all carbon. fiber. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. So this car must be very, very lightweight. And what about the side? Is that you've got? I bought it from Japan, the company name called the Square Craft. And they suit yeah. it as well, the carbon look. Oh, these are beautiful. What wheel setup is this? 295-3518, Yokohama 8050. And they so, grip really well. Yeah, it's amazing groups and it's a square set, pretty much 295 all around. So, yeah, well. Yeah. And what wheels are these? The raised wheels? Yeah, raised wheels, Z40. So I like the, the bronze color to matching the red color of the Definitely car, suits yeah. it. It's a really good color contrast. You've got spoon brakes, is that yeah. right? Yeah, I will eventually upgrading the brakes, waiting for my engine to be built as a turbo, trying to go to sequential. So I'm, I'm pretty much waiting for the drivetrains to be ready to be installed. The GD Machino, they're still developing some yeah. of the, the concept behind lower the engines put the engine back there's a lot of the works waiting at, at these stages yep. to be installed probably within one year's time two years time that's so yeah, cool yeah. so it's going to be turbo and sequential yes we are aiming for the world time act tag if possible this spoiler this is probably one of the biggest spoilers i've ever seen <laughs> yeah so that's the the wings that also the gd machino yeah um, they design it yep. and they also uh, assemble for me yeah so if i open up the boot they mounted it and they actually this brace um, penetrating through the boot and that they reinforce with the carbons as well so it's wow. stupidly too rigid yeah. so it's creating a lot of the downforce yeah but at the moment I'm running with the stock engines limited horsepower but yeah. massive downforce creating by the the wings yeah. and the bodies so yeah. everything's functional in this car the vents the spoiler yeah, yeah. all functional and actually does help you uh, performance wise on the track yes um, it helps me a lot on the actually the corner yeah. but um, I got the good corner speed but um, on the main street line yeah uh, because of the lack of the power yeah, yeah. I actually need more horsepower so that's the main thing that I guess hold, it's holding it back at the moment yeah that's right exactly yeah what tail lights are these as well they're like some LED um, this is a Taiwanese um, aftermarket called the Dapo yeah um, I'm just like where um, the design looks I like it so looks rather beautiful. than um, the AP2 stock taillight um, yeah I'll, I'll just pick this I think it suits it as well and some we'll people like it some people are yeah. AP2 stock light better but yeah, yeah process no I, d I definitely love this I think they look a lot better than the stock tail lights. this is pretty much stock you said just intake is that yeah right? it's just like um, a larger intake so it, the engine can breath in mm. uh, more and then obviously I haven't tuned anything just stock motor which is 2 litre you've done multiple track days in this car yeah. um, for the load name I've done so far I think today is the fourth time I guess it's a testament to Honda's engineering and yeah, um, so, reliability uh, yeah. you know stock stock tunes stock mods and motor pretty much and it's yeah. you know it, it can take a beating yeah <laughs> suspension uh, MTS is a oh, three yeah. is a three way suspension is such a yeah. great suspension yeah, fully adjustable, can customize whatever I wanted to, but my driving skills are not the top level. I'm still amateur, I'm still learning it, mm -hmm. um, but it helps to me even if I make a mistake on yeah. the corners. Actually, the, this suspension actually helped me to yeah, not, to yeah, it makes the car to grip onto the corner. One of the advantages to uh, get this MTS on That's the car. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thanks for your time. I guess we'll pick it up, we go inside the car and we'll see how this thing feels on the track. Let's go. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts.
insane. You're a very good driver. <laughs> I can't get over how good this car handles, man. It's just set up perfectly. Like, it's just dialed in. Max, thanks so much for taking me for a drive, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, guys. Future Jordan here. And once again, I forgot to do an outro. Massive shout out to Max for taking us around your car and giving us a ride in it as well. It was absolutely insane. And yeah, I had a look at the track times after. I'm pretty sure Max got the fastest time of the day as well. So he's definitely a very fast and good driver, as you can see in the video. And yeah, that S2000 performed insane, especially considering the fact that it's a stock motor as well. Like obviously it has a lot of suspension and lightweight body mods and stuff, but it's a big testament to how reliable and how awesome these Honda motors really are out of the factory. And I want to give a massive shout out to My GT Garage for having us down at their track day event at Ludnam Raceway. They're absolute legends. I'll link all their stuff down below. So if you guys want to check out a track day for yourself and to take your car down or just stop by and see the action, I'll link all the details for My GT Garage down below so you guys can check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini feature and yeah, there's more videos like this coming soon as well. So as always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on That Car Life.